hello guys and welcome to my channel today in this video guys i'm going to teach you how to do a smart audio from this tbs crossfire diversity nano receiver as you know in my previous video i have already done the in-depth review of this tbs crossfire nano receiver and this nano receiver comes with its own microcontroller so as you know there are ports which are available on this diversity nano receiver which is capable of doing smart audio right from the radio receiver guys which is why i'm going to use this tbs crossfire nano receiver so as to be able to do the smart audio for changing the band frequency and the power of the vtx right from the radio receiver so as to be able to free a uart from the flight controller guys as you know this is a speedy bf7 mini flight controller which i am using to make my cinevo drone as it has a limited port so guys i will be able to free up one uart right from the flight controller so as to be able to use it for other peripherals so guys if you are new to assembling drone ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that i have to share before we move further guys if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos let's get started so guys before i tell you how to do a smart audio right from the radio receiver let me walk you through the connection that i have as of now in my previous videos i have already told you how to connect a akk vtx onto the flight controller it has power and ground and then you have video input and then a smart audio goes on to the t3 port of my flight controller this is one of the uart which is available as a pin on to my flight controller which is going to be configured later in the firmware of the flight controller so as to be able to do a smart audio to control the band frequency channel and also the power of transmission of the vtx this is an akk vtx with dvr which i have installed onto this flight controller i highly recommend to watch that video before this video so that you understand the pin diagram and the connection so here you can see i have t3 port which is connected and also i have a t3 and r3 available on to this side of the flight controller as well which i am going to use it to connect a gps in my future videos so i want to free this uart so as to be able to do a smart audio right from the tbs crossfire diversity nano receiver but if you do not have a tbs crossfire diversity nano receivers you do not have any other option other than using the uart which is available on to the flight controller but since i am using this tbs crossfire diversity nano receiver i have an option to do a smart audio right from the channel number 8 of this radio receiver so which is why i am going to desolder this t3 pad from here so that i have t3 and r3 available on to this side of the flight controller so as to be able to connect a gps in my future videos so i will have this t3 and r3 available and i will be able to do a smart audio right from the channel number 8 of this radio receiver so that is how guys i am going to do a smart audio right from the radio receiver so let's quickly desolder this t3 pad and connect it to channel number 8 so here you can see guys on to the sides there are lot of pins here you can see there are antenna connector so as per the pin diagram goes here so this is 5 volt and ground to connect an external battery and then you have sca and sda for uh, this is an i2c protocol port and then you have channel number 8 so that is the pin that i am going to use to connect my smart audio so here is my white wire which is connected on to my flight controller is the smart audio line which is coming out of the vtx which i am going to desolder from the flight controller and connect it to channel number 8 here so that is how i am going to do it let's do it quickly so let's quickly desolder the wire the white one as i have told you before is my smart audio wire which is coming out of the vtx which i want to desolder let's quickly desolder that so you can see this i have desoldered the white wire let's take it out of the bunch so that it has enough flexibility to reach onto my radio transmitter whenever i install it onto the drone frame so we'll decouple it from the bunch be gentle and careful at this point so that you do not disturb or break other wires which are there in the bunch and then rewind other wires so that they are all together so as you can see this is the white wire which i would want to use for the smart audio and connect it on to my tbs crossfire as i have told you before this is the fifth pin from the point where you have the antenna connector or 
from this side it is the fourth pin that i want to use so let's quickly solder that port so this is my radio receiver let's quickly tin the port that i'm going to use this is the fourth one from the bottom so as you can see i have already tinned the port let's quickly connect the wire so this is the white wire which i want to connect let's quickly solder it so now i have soldered the wire on to my tbs crossfire diversity nano receiver this is channel number 8 which is the fourth pin from this side or fifth pin from the side here where you have the antenna so now all we need to do is configure this port into the radio receiver let's do that quickly so guys before we can do a smart audio right from diversity nano receiver which i have installed onto my drone frame here inside in my previous videos guys i have already told you how to wire this up and also how to bind this to your radio receiver if you have not seen those videos guys i will put the link of the videos above or in the description below for you guys to check it out so once you have properly bind your radio receiver now i am going to tell you the future steps on how to do a smart audio from this tbs crossfire diversity nano receiver to do that guys you need to power your drone up and complete with the binding i will not show the binding process in this video i will put the link of the video above in which i have in detail showed you how to bind your radio receiver onto your radio transmitter let me quickly power this up and bind and return back now guys as you can see i have a solid green light onto my radio receiver so this means that my radio receiver and transmitter is properly bind now let's go on to the radio receiver to see on the further steps so this is my radio receiver this is radio master tx16s with htx operating system already installed to do the smart audio guys as i have told you before first thing you need to do is bind the radio receiver and transmitter and then go on to the sys key from the left side and then scroll all the way down until you get the tbs agent light so this is what you are looking for tbs agent light script and click okay so this time guys you will see you have a radio transmitter and receiver both detected because they both are bind now let's go on from the transmitter stand do a check here you can see you have several options one of the options says video tx that is where we need to go so here you can see you have vtx control on on transmitter with band a and channel 1 and your power is 25 milliwatt so that is how you need to do if you want to change the band and the channel you need to click and then you have more options to change the band click return and then you can also change the channel so you have several channels available as of now and then go back and also you can change the power so that is what your smart audio means so that you can change the power channel band of your video transmitter which is installed on your drone frame remotely using your radio transmitter so after you have made the changes you need to click here on save settings that will save the settings and will change the power band or frequency whichever things you have changed now hit on return and then again guys you need to go on to the tbs agent light now let's see it from the receiver standpoint so here you can see you have a receiver map here so you need to click on the output map here you need to change few things guys so here you have your channel 1 and 2 on your crossfire tx and rx for your radio control and then here guys you need to go on channel 8 and then scroll all the way down until you see smart audio so this is the configuration you need to do on the receiver side so that channel 8 is mapped on to your smart audio and then guys output 3 and 4 as you know i have selected it for mavlink so i will click here for mavlink tx and you can see as soon as you select output 3 as mavlink tx output 4 becomes 
Mavlink RX. So that is how you enable the Mavlink onto your radio receiver. And then channel 8, as I have shown you before, guys, was connected to Smart Audio. So that is how you need to do it. So as soon as you complete the configuration, hit on return. So here you can see now you have another option called VTX. Go on to VTX. And then you can, here you can see the band channel and power visible here also you can change the band channel and power by clicking and then you have an option to change so this is it guys this is how you do your smart audio from tbs crossfire diversity nano receiver so i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications from my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies